Gaffer uh, linking up next. Uh, another tough away trip and a team that are in good form, certainly throughout March, they've had a really good run, weren't they? Yeah, they've been on an amazing run. Um, when we played them last time, uh, they'd sort of just been, they changed the manager for a few games. Um, and defensively, they were uh, they were really difficult to break down at the DW. Defensively, really good, and then um, uh, they've obviously done very similar work in the attack and play now. So done a brilliant job, the manager there. I know the sporting director uh, as well, uh, so I know what they do behind the scenes in terms of the infrastructure of the club. And uh, yeah, they've got good people. So um, they're on a brilliant run, and it'll be a tough game, but. Uh, do you know what? I loved what I saw uh, at times against Charlton, so I want to see even more against Lincoln. Just looking ahead in terms of the injury front, um, Stephen Humphreys, Josh McGuinness, Jordan Jones, Josh Stones even, any, any chance of anyone? Uh, uh, Humphreys, no. Uh, Josh trained today, um, so hopefully that all goes to plan. He'll travel with us, uh, which is big. Um, even what he gives us off the pitch in terms of when we travel, actually a real, a really good leader. He's grown into a He's grown into that role really well. Um, yeah, the the others know uh, some doubts. Uh, Sean Clare still a doubt, uh, or is a doubt after the game. I thought Sean was very good the other night. Liam Shaw won't make it. Um, yeah, it uh, feels like there's been a bit of a, a spell in the last sort of two weeks or so that uh, we've had a few injuries. But uh, yeah, the, the players that were on the pitch against Charlton. In a tough, uh, Charlton are actually a, a really sort of aggressive team. In a really sort of tough, tough game, I, I, I loved how we played at times. Uh, and now the pressure I put on the players is can we do it against a team that's really in great form. Humphrey's an ankle injury, is that right? Yeah, he's got a, an ankle ligament injury, so he'll, uh, yeah, he won't make the game. We were quite clinical against the chart, weren't we, in terms of the chance we had? And do you expect we need to be clinical again on, on Saturday? Uh, I guess I always want that in every game. I think, uh, uh, look, the, we don't need to speak about Charlton too much. I think the the start of the game, the start of the game was pretty good. Uh, Charlton are really good. Uh, they'll get the ball in the box very very quickly if you keep the ball off them and try and control it. Um, yeah, you can really sort of control. Uh, you have to control the game against Charlton, and we did up until the, obviously the own goal, uh, and then it really affected us. Um, Charlie Kelman took his goals very, very well. The, the second goal was was brilliant play from the team. So um, I think what I need to impress, and not just for this next three games, but for next season, when I speak about the DNA of the club and how we played many years ago and how this team could, or this club could compete with any any major club on, on its day and uh, when they're at the very, very best, I need to bring that, I need to continue down that path. It's also the reason why some of our younger players are now making uh, national team appearances at England, Norway. Uh, it's because of the way that we play as well. It sort of gives them a platform to go and show what they have. That point effectively means we're now say bar a, a crazy goal swing, but just how big of an achievement, given everything that happened in the, in the summer with the points deduction, the transfer embargo, such a young squad, how big of an achievement do you feel it is the fact that we seem to you know, effectively secured that status? It's tough to, to speak about it too much because we've got the three games to go and I'm really, really trying to impress on the players that I need a certain intensity level to be back at what it was at Blackpool and look, let's be honest, it dropped after the international break because uh, look, we'd secured a certain points total. Um, I need that back. Even though we achieved what we achieved with seven games to go, I still want to win games with people travelling, with people paying to watch us, so... But in terms of the season so far, and maybe I'll speak more as, uh, as, as we tick off the games, uh, when I reflect back to where we were in June, July, August, even even our pre-season when we had players that handed in notice uh, periods, uh, we basically had the reserves uh, on that trip. Um, and I have the owner to thank a lot, and the chairman, for the work that they put in. Uh, but a massive credit to the players. It's a huge, it is a big achievement. I, I know this club over the last 20 years has always seems like this part of the season is the most important. Sometimes to win leagues, sometimes to stay in leagues. This is a, one of the, I think there's maybe one or two, maybe one other season where it's been a really stable, stable season. And um, yeah, I want to thank the players and the fans really. 
but I need more from the players. The fans, I'll never ask uh, for more than what they're given. What they've done over the last 12 months is incredible. The players, I need more. I need more in these last three games. After those three games, I'll tell them exactly what I think of them. Uh, I think they already know. But really, their efforts this year has, um, has, been, has been incredible to watch. There's things uh, away from match day that the supporters won't see. Uh, we've had to obviously tailor our, our cost to obviously what's happened previously. And the players have never complained. The, the mentality of the group, sometimes we've won, sometimes we've lost. Sometimes we've lost, I think it was four in a row at times. The players have been good. They give me everything. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll maybe speak to them at the end of the season about it. And a lot of those players, as we've said all, all season, is are, are such young players that are in their first full season in professional football. Do you, do you feel the experience that they've gained this year will stand in mean, great stead for, for obviously next season and the year ahead? Yeah, I do. Um, it has to. And also, also, I want more next year. This year, I've definitely had to be patient allow them the space to sometimes, well they are, they're going to make mistakes, it's their first season um, for quite a few of them. Uh, some of them are straight out of the reserves, hadn't played league minutes before, so I have to give them the space to um, basically show the talent that they have, not be fearful of making a mistake. Next next year I'll expect more and I'll demand more. If you look at where we were, uh, if I speak about March and obviously achieving a points total, um, you also have to look at if the points that we had deducted were, were put back on. We'd be, at that international break, we'd be right in the hunt for the playoffs. And I want that feeling. In, I want that feeling where we are going for something. I have no idea how next season looks yet, but uh, I want even more than what the players have given me this season. I appreciate their efforts, particularly the younger ones. Next season, I'll demand more. You mentioned the likes of Kai Payne, you know, impressive training. And- with safety, you know, secure to an extent. Do you look at giving the younger players opportunities in these last couple of games, or obviously it's important we, we end the season in, in strong form, isn't it? But you try and find that balance. Um. Yeah, I think I'll probably take each game as it comes. I think Lincoln, then we've got Portsmouth, two very good teams, um, and we finish with Bristol. Uh, I'll kind of make that, that decision on training. Now, Kai's just come back from an injury, for a long a long injury, um, but he's a really talented midfielder. Um, I'll make that decision based on training. And he trained very well today. Um, if he continues to train like that, then he'll definitely make minutes for us because I'll know I'll, uh, it's almost his, his time next year will be what, what the players some of the players are, have had this year. Um, yeah, he's a talent, but he needs to keep working hard. He's got a lot of, uh, a lot of room to improve. Um, but yeah, there might be uh, if if he trains well, he'll definitely uh, get minutes before the end of the season. And some other lads on loan, you know, Watto at Oxford, Joe Adams, Cameron Robbo, Harry McHugh. Do you look at them in terms of how they're performing this year, with a, with a view to next season and, and them coming in the team? Yeah, I think they'll have the op- opportunity, the same as uh, Baba Scott Smith did this year. Um, yeah, they'll definitely come back uh, for pre-season, uh, and they'll have the opportunity to really stick a claim. I think that's. Look, what, how our squad will look next year is I'm not I'm not entirely sure in terms of all the financial um, the financial side, but I know that we'll again have 10, 12. If they perform well, we might have up to 14 academy players in our squad. And that's an incredible amount. But then I'll demand from them. I will. Some of these lads have had brilliant loans in Scotland. I think it's a great place. Uh, the SPL, the the league below, the first division. It's a brilliant place for loans because it's a tough league. Um, yeah, they've got a chance of being uh, yeah, first-team players next year. They have to go and grab it. Um, but there'll be somebody else in their position as well. There'll be. I want big competition next year. I think it's the best way for the younger players to get better and for us to achieve what we want to achieve as a, a team and a club.